Hello. So I'm going to be doing episode 11001001, which uh, is binary and too short a season in this episode of TNG by 30. Um, so in the first episode, the Binars are an alien race which are acting really, really strangely while they're supposed to be upgrading the holodeck. I don't know why no one on the show ever notices when anyone else, and when I say people or like anyone, I'm talking about aliens and people. Like everybody's grouped into this group together. No one ever notices when someone's acting shifty. They could be like, nope, not up to anything. I'm just walking around. And no one notices or Wesley notices and no one listens to him because why would you listen to Wesley? It just doesn't make any sense. So that's really annoying. Uh, anyway, the Binars alter the holodeck so that it's fascinating and they're sexy lady for Riker. And Riker and Picard are in the holodeck while the Binars are stealing the ship, which is pretty cool. Um, sexy lady is Minuet and uh, she's sexy lady. I don't know. Whatever. And with Minuet's help, uh, Picard and Riker figure out what's happening and save the Barnards from their destruction. That's what happens. But I was really less interested in the Binar plot than the character work that was done with Riker and Riker and um, Picard's friendship. Like, it must be very lonely on a ship of, I think there's hundreds of people on the Enterprise, possibly thousands, hundreds, hundreds, sure, let's go with hundreds, uh, in, on the ship of hundreds, including your ex-girlfriend who you dumped because of your career. Riker, so far, has been the most obviously sexually active member of the crew, um, not counting the naked now, which... I'm just going to throw out in terms of sex because everyone was acting irrationally. I think he's the only character we've seen have sex on screen. I mean, I guess he didn't have sex on screen, but we know what happened on Angel 1. Uh, and he also is the most, like, he'll, he'll make a sex joke or he'll ask Worf about, why aren't you getting it on with these human chicks? Like, he's just the most sexually out there of the crew. Um, and in this episode, it kind of implies that he's longing for some sort of personal connection with a woman, but he can only have it on his terms. He won't be with Troy because Troy has ambitions of her own and they may not mesh with his and he wants to be a captain someday. Um, but he wanted a woman that he can have whenever he turns the program on, which was a little skeevy. And the way that, uh, after he realizes that Minuet is not there anymore because the Binars are gone, the way that Picard talks to him really implies that Picard has given up personal relationships for his own ambitions, and he understands where Riker's coming from, but he's not, not going to let him, you know, have a Riker pity party for long. And it also shows how deep their connection is. Like, they're very good friends at this point. They're like, basically both on a date with the same holographic woman, so. Yeah, that was interesting, and that was far, far better than anything to do with the Binars. So, I enjoyed that part of the episode. And too short a season. Too short a season was awful. It was capital letters boring. And it could have been really good. It should have been really good. But the old man makeup was so bad. And the acting was really bad. So, an elderly, sick ambassador uh, named Admiral Jameson is called to the Enterprise to deal with a hostage situation on a planet that he had dealt with years, 40 years before. And he's terminally ill. Um... But all of a sudden, he starts getting better. 
Apparently he had some sort of magic alien potion that was supposed to make him young again. And he felt responsible for the civil war on this planet because he sold, or sold or gave, I wasn't really clear on that, arms to both sides of the conflict. Shitty move. But really, you can have all the guns in the world, what you do with them is up to you. Uh, so I, I don't think he was all that responsible for the Civil War. If they didn't get weapons from him, they would have probably killed each other with whatever they had, like rocks and sticks. And, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. He becomes young and healthy again with his magic elixir. And uh, acts really bad. He's a bad actor. He just doesn't want to face these people as a sick old man. He wants to stand up and, you know, atone for his sins. But because he took too much of Magic Youth Elixir, his body cells can't keep up, and he dies. Because he's an idiot. Um, outside of the majorly awful acting and makeup, this was bad. It was boring. Although the Admiral costumes were super sweet. I liked those a lot. The gold piping, and they actually didn't look like they should have a cape behind them. That was pretty cool. But too short a season. 